Hey there, it's Rebecca with Months and Minutes. Today I'm back at Months and Medical Center and I'm talking to Dr. Joe Santangelo, our Chief Quality and Safety Officer. And we're really gonna be talking today about vaccines. So thanks for being with me here today, Dr. Santangelo. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So Dr. Santangelo, is a vaccine safe? I keep hearing a lot of things and I just really wanna make sure we get to the root cause of people's questions. Yes, the vaccine is safe. And we've given millions and millions and millions of doses now. It was safe in the trials. Now in real life, it's safe. There are some people who can have allergic reactions to this vaccine, just like you can have allergic reactions to peanuts or to amoxicillin or other medications. And so it's important that you get your vaccine in a place where you're gonna be monitored, which everywhere in Michigan that's giving the vaccine is taking those precautions and is ready to take care of you if that should happen. Other than that, it is a very safe vaccine. And I have no hesitations about getting it myself or recommending it to friends and family. Okay, great. So in your opinion, do you think this vaccine was approved too quickly? It seemed to get on the market pretty fast. It's a great question. And this vaccine did get to market relatively quickly. The thing to remember is that a vaccine, including these COVID-19 vaccines, they have to follow a very specific set of steps in order to be approved for use. And these vaccines follow those exact same steps. It was such a priority for our country that everyone got in line to make sure that those steps went as smoothly as they could go but the same steps for safety and how well it works and would there be side effects, all those same steps were followed. The flu vaccine every year is decided on in April and is delivered by the fall. So having a vaccine that's made in a relatively short period of time and is given and is very safe is something that we've done before. And we did it with this vaccine. It's very safe and it didn't skip any steps. Well, thanks again, Dr. Santangelo. This was really helpful information. So thank you for joining us for months and minutes and we'll see you next time.